Hello friends, welcome to Desi Plaza TV. I'm your host Kushbu Rolly. Today we have with us Mr. Jagdish Purandala, sorry, Jags Purandala, that's what he goes by. He is a well-known community leader in Dallas. He works as a business operations advisor for CVS Health. He's a secretary of TEA, Telugu Entrepreneurs Association. Uh, he, is, uh, he has also co-convened first global Telangana convention that was conducted by Telangana Development Forum. And he keeps organizing multiple events for both TEA and TDF, uh, Telugu Entrepreneurs uh, Association and Telangana, Telangana Development Front. He supports uh, a few orphanages in India. He is involved in charity as well. And uh, he was involved in planning for Jefferson Park. He helped uh, the victims of fire in Irving uh, last year in 2016, uh, in which 15 families were impacted directly amongst others. And uh, uh, he uh, was first Indian model manager at CoWester.com. He won Best Alumni Award in Community Service Domain. He has multiple interests, including construction, teaching, garment business, wholesale stores, trading, investing, personal finance, mentoring students, and whatnot. <laughs> so, friends, let's welcome uh, Mr. Jax Purandala to the show. Mr. Jax, thank you so much for giving us your time on Desi Plaza TV. First of all, we would like to know how do you manage so much? We would like to know what your background and what intrigued you. What's the passion behind doing all this? And how did you get where you are uh, today? How did you achieve all this? First of all, thanks for having me. <laughs> Most welcome. Um, so, um, my career started uh, in a small town mm -hmm. in Warangal district. Mm -hmm. And I have something unique um, from the first mm -hmm. class until the masters. Okay. I did everything in one district. Oh, that, so, that's good. Yeah, You're pretty all my connected to that place, right? Yes, all my <laughs> all 18 memories. years education mm -hmm. I did in one district, Warangal district. That's awesome. I went to NIT Warangal, mm -hmm. um, where I did uh, uh, civil engineering, mm -hmm. and after that, uh, uh, at that point in time, I was in Telugu medium until twelfth uh, grade. Okay. So you all know of the a language sudden, well. <laughs> it was a language barrier for yes. me uh, getting into the engineering and masters. Mm, you know, until twelfth grade, I was mm. all doing in Telugu, all mathematics yes. and science yes. and social studies. Yes, it was I a see. big shift. Mm -hmm. I took it as a challenge. Mm -hmm. so the first year was a rough year for me. I can and imagine. Then, yeah. then finally, <laughs> after my engineering, I got very good scores uh, cool. uh, in gate, and then I got into R C Warangal. Mm -hmm. I completed my uh, master's there. That's awesome. It's not easy. I know a lot of people uh, struggle when they come from regional schools or those uh, language-based schools and all. But ultimately, all the colleges, you have to keep up with English and all. And look at you today. You know what? You are giving lectures in English to, to the world now. <laughs> so, of course, you made it. And, uh, of course, you're successful. You're here and all. So, how do you keep up that positivity and that uh, fighting spirit? Yeah. In fact, if you want to look at uh, mm -hmm. my background, you know, I was a very shy person. Oh, you were? <laughs> I never used to talk uh, in front of others. I used and now to, you're a mentor. <laughs> yes. In fact, I, in fact, I can tell you one example. When mm -hmm. I was in seventh grade, uh, there mm -hmm. was a play. I was mm -hmm. given a role and it was two minutes role. Mm -hmm. And I did not know what I did on the stage. Okay. So I was so shy. And after that, I realized that there is always something, you know, we can learn. That is so it's true. It's not something you born with. Yes. And it is all something you can learn over a period of time. Yes. So from so my true. parents, I learned that skill. We mm -hmm. want to be a lifelong uh, student. Mm -hmm. And that if you so are a lifelong student, you can achieve anything. Which is so well said and so true. Such a beautiful actually teaching that your parents taught you. I mean, that's a lesson for life that there's always more to learn. And you should always keep on learning and enhancing yourself as a person and not fearing something new. And I, I think as soon as you get beyond that fear, you just get the thing that you're trying to achieve. So uh, really awesome. And uh, so now we would like to know how are you associated with the T and uh, Telangana uh, Development Forum and all? So until uh, 2013, mm -hmm. all the community service I was doing uh, is internal. You know, I used to contribute to a couple of uh, uh, non-profit organizations in India, uh -huh. orphanages. And yes. my wife is a big supporter of uh, uh, these orphanages. <laughs> and we allocate certain amount and uh, every month uh, we donate certain amount that mm -hmm. we used to do. Mm -hmm. But ever since I came to Dallas, uh, 
coming to Dallas is a big story. I never wanted to come to <laughs> Dallas. You didn't want to come to Dallas? Yes. In fact, my wife pulled me and, you know, we were happy. Okay. I was in California. You were in California. And a couple of years, we were in Connecticut. And my daughter's uh, schools were good. And we were happy there. Mm -hmm. My wife, uh, in fact, he, she pushed me to come to Dallas. Okay. And I'm really thankful to her. That's cool. So, uh, when you got married uh, while you were in California? No, I, w I married when I was in India. Okay, cool. So, I was in India until 2000. But you were okay to come to US at least, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, that, that I've heard. California is a pretty cool place and Dallas, the first impression of Dallas is of course kind of dull, especially compared to California. So, I can imagine that might have been your reason to not come here. But uh, anyways, uh, how do you like it now? You're yeah. here settled and everything. So. I like it uh, very much now. And in fact, uh, coming to the U.S. is also I never liked it. Okay, why? <laughs> <laughs> because I want to be, uh, I want to stay in India. Mm -hmm. I want to be part of Indian development. Okay, you know, I, I was yeah. doing that. But all of a sudden in 2000, uh, why don't I come here and uh, learn something new? Mm -hmm. And I learned a lot of new things. Uh, uh, in so the did United you study or wait, or when you came here, did you study? Uh, no, I did not study anything. All my study, everything was, was in, in India. India. Okay. And ever since... Uh, people ask me, "Are you? Uh, did you do MBA? Uh, did you do any uh, doctorate mm -hmm. program?" I say that uh, I did that uh, MBA in my life. That is so true because life is the true learning. In fact, we all actually learn the lessons that nature has to provide, and we formalize them in form of courses and whatnot. But if we can directly learn from life itself, that's the most precious kind of learning you could ever have. Yeah. So. <laughs> and to continue, uh, uh, you are asking about the non-profit mm -hmm. organizations. So yes. I always uh, focused on, you know, how I can give it back to the community. Mm -hmm. So uh, my friend uh, Vijay Pitta, uh, he, um, he took me into te uh, Tel uh, Telangana Development Forum okay. and uh, we have been doing some development programs back in Telangana. Okay. okay? And uh, coming to the T, Telugu Entrepreneurs Association, based on my work uh, mm -hmm. in Dallas, uh, Guram Srinivas Reddy um, asked me to join T. And I've been with T almost two years, mm -hmm. and uh, it has been a terrific experience. And in that, what we are trying to do is how we can foster entrepreneurship among youth, mm -hmm. and also how we increase our connections, network. Mm -hmm. End of the day, we came to the United States to make a big difference, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. that is what we are trying to do. Uh, which is so true. I mean, we do understand uh, uh, that coming over here itself is kind of an achievement and we want to make the most of it. And But still having that sense of giving it back to community and still trying to keep connected uh, with our busy life. I mean, we all have, but trying to take that time out and uh, being able to do something. And amazing work that you do. You're involved with some orphanages as well back in India. Yes. So by itself, you know, that's uh, a very brilliant work because, uh, you know, they have a helping hand. Uh, on their heads, uh, you know, that feels a lot and that means a lot. And uh, so friends, his wife, uh, Pushpa, is also involved uh, in a lot, lot of charity work that you actually do, you know. There's always a girl involved <laughs> in this, behind the success of a man. So it's a good team that you have. Uh, what mm, is actually uh, tea about? Like how does it help uh, children or the society? So, uh, this is something, uh, tea was uh, originally started by uh, Guram Srinivas Reddy, Garu, and um, his idea was to um, bring Telugu community, Telugu entrepreneur community together, and thereby, how we can foster uh, entrepreneurship uh, among women. You know, okay. we took different uh, segments, women is one segment, uh, the youth is another segment, and uh, recently, we conducted one new uh, event for high school students. Oh, yes. I saw students. the videos. It was really awesome. And also, the, the adults, mm -hmm. how we can increase yes. our connections. Yes. And the last year, we conducted an e event for uh, high school students mm -hmm. where we did a six weeks program. And in the six weeks program, before we started, the students, high school students, they mm -hmm. did not have any ideas, you know, what <laughs> ideas they need to work on. But they were on. brilliant. One of them was, uh, came up with an idea of backbone straightener. I was like, what is that? I want to know about it. <laughs> but they came up with brilliant stuff and you, you were providing such good platform. Yeah. In fact, you know, mm -hmm. we were, we were uh, even surprised, you know, how many students are going to come. Mm -hmm. And we were looking for 30 students. We got 67 students. <laughs> and, you know, initially, so you these, your students were very... Mm -hmm. A spectacle on you know uh, mm -hmm. how this is going to work mm -hmm. but we were able to stick uh, students together mm -hmm. and we were able to end the show 
with with a bang that's really awesome so how what is the style of this whole show like is like a workshop how long does it last how do you prepare kids okay so essentially what we tried was mm -hmm. we uh, we worked with several uh, university professors mm -hmm. and successful entrepreneurs mm -hmm. uh, in Dallas and mm -hmm. uh, throughout the united states cool. and we come up with a 6 weeks program Six weeks. Six weeks okay. program. So that's the duration and of the program. It was right? challenging for us. You know, mm -hmm. nobody has ever done th such program for high school kids. That's true. Okay. Mm -hmm. So which is why it's initially we started concept. with. Yeah, it's a new concept, mm -hmm. and uh, especially working with high school students, mm -hmm. it's really tough <laughs> because their expectations are too high, mm -hmm. right? Um, so what we did was we took uh, the help from the professors mm -hmm. and. Uh, uh, these uh, successful entrepreneurs, we put together a curriculum. So basically the business plan, How in, uh, any idea it should go into the business plan mm -hmm. and there are different uh, components of the business plan. So we divided that into fa first f five weeks program. Mm -hmm. Each week we used to have a, a lecture mm -hmm. and also there is a hands-on session. So this we conducted in UT Dallas and it's a two hours program. And every week, that two hours program, uh, we continued for five weeks. On the fifth week, mm -hmm. they came up with a business plan. Okay. And that business plan, we formed into groups of mm -hmm. three, four people, students. That's cool. And we assigned a mentor mm -hmm. just to help them out. Yeah. Yep. And then finally, the way they presented, the way pitched, we really... Uh, uh, surprised <laughs> the talent we have kids do surprise us yeah. the kind of imagination and creativity that they have they can actually think they generally think beyond limits they don't think that there's end to imagination anyways and if uh, and i think we kids are the ones who really need the true platform we really need to actually those are the roots of the society and if we enrich them we are sure to have uh, the brilliant future uh, so, uh, was this in collaboration with UTD? Is uh, is it a program that would be kind of in collaboration run by UTD every year or something? It's not something uh, UTD uh, runs every year. Mm -hmm. Actually, we partner with UT Dallas okay. and you know they provided uh, the, the facility. Mm -hmm. They provided a wonderful facility. Mm -hmm. you know, they that must made be so a lot happy, of yeah, uh, you know what, uh, yeah. something precious that uh, their students are achieving in a way. And also there are a lot of volunteers who helped mm -hmm. in the program. Mm -hmm. Without them, this uh, event would not have been possible. I, I can imagine. I mean, if you're saying a team of four and every team has a mentor, so I'm pretty sure you actually gathered a lot of community volunteers who are in entrepreneurs of some kind in some other business, and they're helping them out to create plans and whatnot. And, uh, uh, of course, so they came up with a wonderful kind of project and maybe presentation at the sixth week or something? Yeah, they presented on the sixth week and uh, uh, we had uh, very successful entrepreneurs, Abhida Bedi, uh, Krishna Korapati okay. and um, um, there are several uh, other uh, entrepreneurs uh, came and they evaluated and uh, it was a hard decision for them <laughs> and they had to pick three winners. Oh, see <laughs> so that's the hard part. <laughs> yeah, that's the hard part. You know, everybody, uh, everyone was doing uh, wonderful yes, and they had to select three winners and mm -hmm. some of them, even uh, the entrepreneurs, they agreed to provide internships too. Oh, they did? That's really cool. Yeah. That's really cool. And how was the reaction of students and parents? Like sometimes students uh, get attached to their idea and they might expect, okay, now I actually want to run a business of on my business plan. <laughs> did you get something of that sort? Yes. Uh, some of the students initially, they never wanted to be entrepreneurs okay. uh, before the program. Mm -hmm. But after the program, they realized that we have to be entrepreneurs. Though they mm -hmm. are going into the, the uh, uh, medicine uh, mm -hmm. field, mm -hmm. still they want to be entrepreneurs. That's cool. And at least we put the seed. It and so at true. least you know, out of the 60, yes. if 10 people mm -hmm. become CEOs, CFOs, we'll mm -hmm. be very happy. Which is so true. I mean, basically directly impacting the brain and giving that then that confidence that you know what you can do it and they themselves thinking yes we can do it and it's interesting and I want to do it that itself is a big achievement for our entire community as yeah. such so it's a great gift that uh, you are giving and I'm so glad people like you are on secretary and uh, on the board of uh, organizations like TEA and we would really want TEA to actually expand further I don't know what your future plans are in terms uh, have you thought like where would TEA stand, uh, let's say, two years from now, or any other plans that you might have? Yes, we have some big plans. You know, mm -hmm. we wanted to expand T uh, to 
other cities too. Mm -hmm. And in fact, you know, after this program, um, I got a uh, lot of messages <laughs> on Facebook and phone. No wonder. And uh, they were asking, you know, when are you conducting such program um, in, in New York and California? Uh -huh. So, so what we said was, it does definitely we have plans to expand into the other cities. And also, this year we are planning uh, a global uh, summit. Oh, and are? we are we are in in a planning stage, and we will announce the date and uh, uh, awesome. place awesome. when it's going to happen. Thank you so much. All the best. All the best. We are waiting for that announcement. So, friends, we are in talks with Mr. Jax Purandala. We shall be back after a short break. You are actually listening and hearing us on Desi Plaza TV. Thank you so much. See you after the break. Uh, hello, friends. Welcome back to Desi Plaza TV. I'm your host, Kushbu Rolly, and of course, we are over here with Mr. Jax Purandala. So, welcome back. Mr. Jax, your elder daughter, Monica Purandala, uh, she got a full ride, an additional merit scholarship uh, in UT Dallas, and she is in final year of BS Computer Science Honors. And also, your uh, younger daughter, Rishika, has multiple interests. It seems uh, she won an award in Copal ISD. Uh, for online fiction writing work and uh, she's going to release her book soon sometime this year fiction how do you uh, mentor them how do you like teach them and what would be the advice in general that you would like to give students especially that is uh, my passion right from the childhood uh, ever since i was in high school i always used to teach uh, my uh, you know younger grade uh, mm -hmm. students and that have been continuing uh, since then and always uh, one thing I tell parents is that always spend time with the kids. That is very important. And what happens is, uh, especially the kids, they start something and uh, they, they work on that for six months and after that they lose interest. Yeah. Focus uh, and they pick something, something else. Something else. So they, they lose the continuity. Mm -hmm. so, so what we need to do is we need to understand the student's strengths and make sure that they have uh, enough uh, resources uh, th are, are they getting. Uh, that is something we need to look into. And uh, we need to continue their passion. You know, th those they started in uh, elementary school, making sure that it goes until their high school. Yes. So there is a concept called, if you work on anything for 1000 hours, dedicated time, then definitely you will, you will reach decent uh, level. That so, awesome. so this is advice for the parents and when it comes to the kids, what I say is that you have to be a lifelong student. <laughs> so that is a trick, you know, you have to be a lifelong student and uh, students, you should never afraid to fail. And uh, you try new things and uh, all won't be successful, but you keep trying, keep trying and also be kind. So these are the three things I advise. Um, uh, for the young students and especially you know we need uh, support from the spouse too mm -hmm. uh, in fact my wife is a motivation for me uh, and mm -hmm. likewise um, uh, you know either husband uh, or wife mm -hmm. should uh, spend time with the kids Which that is, is always true. necessary and many of these situations what is happening is uh, we are busy in our own work mm -hmm. and we don't connect with the students mm -hmm. and we don't understand their needs so understanding their needs and nurturing, mm -hmm. as you know, the parents are the m uh, mentors and uh, coach, mm -hmm. first coach, first teachers. That is so true. That is so true. Yes, kids, uh, all they need is love and time. And that's the most precious gift that parents can give. And they must give. It is their responsibility. So Mr. Jags, you also provide financial advice. Uh, so would you like to say something to our audience, a little tips on how to manage their money? more efficiently and uh, in a better way? <laughs> Essentially, uh, when it comes to the, uh, the personal finance, uh, I'm not a registered financial advisor. However, uh, the personal finance has been my passion. Mm -hmm. uh, especially what I tell people is that, um, you know, there are several ways in which uh, you, can, uh, you can do a lot of uh, great things in personal finance. So for example, I can give you an example. Um, Timeshare, recently we bought a timeshare. And uh, what I do is that I do a lot of ne negotiation. Mm -hmm. And especially when you buy timeshare, there are a lot of things, hidden things uh, that we need to consider. Um, mm -hmm. Especially when you buy a timeshare, uh, irrespective of your credit score, uh, they charge you 20%, 20 plus percent uh, interest. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, what you can do is that uh, you can just give a best offer if somebody is saying that timeshare is uh, about fifteen thousand um, dollars you start with five thousand dollars and say that uh, i don't want to uh, take the loan um, and i just wanted to um, pay in full and try to get a bet better deal so similarly i got a better deal it's all about asking. You yeah. never know, you might just get it. <laughs> yeah, yep. <laughs> and asking with confidence. <laughs> yes, that's true. In fact, uh, what you can do is that there are several things. Mm -hmm. Even if you are an electricity provider or um, the cable provider, definitely when you talk to your manager of the company mm -hmm. as opposed to a customer agent, mm -hmm. you'll get a better deal. Mm -hmm. Just to give an example, uh, my electricity, I'm paying two cents per uh, kilowatt hour. Oh, that's a good rate. <laughs> yep. So that that can only possible if you go to uh, the next level, talk to the right person, and get a be better deal. Interesting. So you need to know whom you are talking to first of all, and pay attention to that. <laughs> yes. So those are definitely some good tips. Uh, thank you so much for sharing uh, on this platform of Desi Plaza TV. Uh, so friends, he is also involved um, heavily with a concept called four way wins. So. Uh, it's a brilliant concept and uh, there are four main things that uh, he will, we will make him talk about. Family, career, self and community. Uh, so Mr. Jags, what is this concept about and uh, what ex is the crux and how this helps all of us, the people in general to actually in day to day lives and to be able to manage work and uh, family life in, in a better way. Yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, especially yeah, I would like to talk about this. Uh, in fact, you know, whenever I go to any meetings or meet with the friends, uh, this is something I always talk to them. Mm -hmm. And um, probably, you know, whenever I, I see that, uh, see about four-way win, mm -hmm. definitely they will ask questions about, you know, how we can achieve these four-way wins. And uh, t as uh, myself, you know, I'm, I don't consider myself as a master of this. I'm still a student of uh, four-way wins. As you said uh, earlier, I'm a student lifelong. <laughs> <laughs> so interestingly, what it says is that uh, in olden days, uh, you remember uh, the saints, if you want to achieve something, you have to sacrifice certain things. That is okay? true. So mm. in, in 21st century, that is not true. It's not that true? Is not, that it's not true. Okay. You know, you can win in all four areas. Mm -hmm. So the concept here is that... So that's what we all want to achieve, right? Yes. But it's a struggle. It's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy. But what we can make it, uh, how we can make it happen is, mm -hmm. let's say if you have a bright spot, you know, you, are, you have wonderful family uh, and kids and uh, mm -hmm. you have happy family, everything, and it will have a positive effect in other domains, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So that means that this, the bright spots from one domain, we can apply in other areas. Interesting, but what does that exactly mean? It also depends on like what they really want to achieve. I mean, uh, like uh, family, career, self, and community. But then in career, what do they really want, right? So it has to really help out in a way. So the way basically How does the concept really is really one domain help out in another domain. So the concept here is that uh, in a, in a company when you work, you know, there is mm -hmm. the stakeholders, right? In a company, you have a stakeholder, your manager, your manager's manager, they're all your stakeholders. Mm -hmm. And similarly at home also, you have stakeholders, uh, why a spouse and uh, kids, you know, they have certain expectations. Mm -hmm. The way you work, uh, the way you work and also meets uh, stakeholders' expectations, we have to meet the same thing in other domains too, especially uh, my spouse, you know, she has certain uh, things I need mm -hmm. to meet their uh, requirement that right yeah. so all that is possible so th that way if I am having some bright spots in one area other areas can be successful uh, very interesting but then uh, it is true too. like you know uh, may maybe what you're trying to say is that if let's say one area is good enough you might not need to spend much time and you can use that time in other areas so that you can achieve better results there no, like that. well, uh, the other way around. So other basically around. what we are saying here is mm -hmm. that, you know, if you are successful in one area mm -hmm. and you can be successful in other areas too. Interesting. So it's a trickling effect. It's so trickling if effect. <laughs> yeah. If you are successful in one, just have the confidence and keep going and you will be successful eventually. So just be happy and have the confidence, I guess. Yes, <laughs> that's true. But, uh, but what, how would you explain this to kids? I mean, it's a very heavy concept in a way. 
but it would help them because everybody struggles with managing the time. Uh, even they have too much homework on their plate and then so many exams upcoming. And these days they are struggling with a lot of other, op other classes, you know, non-academic stuff as well. So uh, how would you, what would you suggest them? So especially this concept is not for uh, the school students, okay. uh, so it's more of, uh, you know, for the adults, mm -hmm. more of adults. Earlier we have something called work-life balance. Mm -hmm. In that work-life balance, what we used to say is that if you want to be successful in uh, work, you have to sacrifice something, uh, mm -hmm. right? But in the four-way win concept, what we are saying is that we are making sure that you are allocating a certain time for each domain. Each okay, so e allocating some time on daily basis on each domain. Each domain. Okay. And also you're not leaving any do, uh, do, uh, domain uh, aside. Mm -hmm. aside. So this makes you a complete person. Which is true, which is so well said. I mean, you will definitely feel more accomplished and, uh, and you're happy, you feel more satisfied. And you're more satisfied, you feel more happy. But yes, so the trick is to basically give time and manage time in such a right way that you're actually giving time to all your four priorities uh, to make a wholesome uh, experience of your life. So th that's truly amazing. But uh, is there a step-by-step -step process? Uh, if somebody is new to this concept, what should they do initially to be able to later on actually inculcate this process in their life, day-to-day -day life? So th there's a structured process here mm -hmm. um, for each domain we need to identify who are all your stakeholders. Mm -hmm. um, uh, just like where uh, we have at work, we have uh, our managers, manager, manager is mm -hmm. there. Similarly at home, you have kids and uh, children and similarly uh, the self also. You need to take care of your health and um, yes. um, spiritual and emotional health. All this you need to manage, right? So now how are we doing on this? We need to rank ourselves, mm -hmm. you know, yes. which area we are weak which area we are weak and from that concept from the stakeholder analysis what we can do is that okay so the weakest area uh, we need to look at and what are the opportunities in that weakest area if you're not able to spend a lot of time with your family and kids is it something we can uh, improve upon improve mm -hmm. upon and you are already successful in your career and see what uh, the bright spots you can apply in this area so you are taking the bright spots from one area and applying here and you are doing little bit of experiment, experimentation and end of the day um, you are tweaking the environment. So for example, I can give you an example, if you want to reduce uh, shu uh, sugar intake uh, uh, in the mm -hmm. home, mm -hmm. sodas and other things. Mm -hmm. The concept here is that you, you eliminate certain things, you, you don't get soda in the home. Yeah, okay. I mean that's what we do like. And you keep no uh, fruits on, on the table and uh, people uh, pick uh, the fruits. So you are tweaking the environment and see what they expect, you know, what your uh, daughter and the children expect from you and spend time with them. That makes a lot of difference. That is uh, true and so well said. I mean, um, yes, I mean, you need to basically intro keep on introspecting your four areas and see which is stronger, which is weaker and then replan every next time to focus more on weaker kind of thing and so that you can actually have a wholesome experience because uh, having a super success in one field sometimes makes person empty somewhere inside. So um, instead of that, you know, it's a good concept that, you know, have a wholesome experience and be successful in a total manner. So, but yeah, it, the, the way you explained it involves constant introspection and knowing uh, where are you strong and where are you weak and then thinking through it and then planning accordingly. So uh, it might involve like a little bit of mentoring initially to, to the people who are new to this concept. Definitely, that definitely <laughs> some mentoring <laughs> is required. And also, you know, I have some worksheets. In fact, I have a presentation and I can share that uh, uh, stakeholder analysis uh, uh, worksheet that we can, uh, people can work on and then uh, they can uh, rate. You know, just like the annual reviews in the companies we have, and you know same thing we need to do in all areas and one of the example i can tell you is that uh, i was not until recently um, uh, until 2010 i was not focusing on health okay okay so i found that that is a weakest area then what i realized is that there is something i can do there okay so i started 
uh, taking certain uh, uh, you know goals mm -hmm. every year and especially this year i am doing uh, every day 5000 steps without that i am not going to sleep <laughs> exactly. so so there are certain things we can do and also when when it comes to your uh, spiritual health and also uh, one more example i can give you is that especially cell phone radiation is going to be very uh, dangerous going forward mm -hmm. so the living cell phone in the living room not in the bedroom you know it, these are the certain small adjustments we can do to make it a difference uh, which is so true with so many things and technology all around us we got to be a little more careful uh, yeah so first of all you need to know how things impact and then work on it and then work in the right manner and put in effort so like as you said you knew like health was the area where you wanted to put more focus but then you have to put that effort of actually taking that many steps every day so yes so a little bit of that planning and then your effort behind that planning and then i guess that would achieve wonders so is there some kind of like a structured uh, uh like a training on these four winds that uh, you might uh, provide or suggest so yeah, what i can do is that i can share the worksheet uh, that uh, i normally use and um, i can share with the viewers that would be super awesome for all the listeners of desi plaza tv actually yeah in fact so you know i we can what we can do is that when this video is posted on youtube mm -hmm. i can add the uh, couple yeah. of images that that would be really cool that would be really cool i i guess any such good thing which helps everybody in general it's uh, definitely good to be shared and uh, thank you so much for uh, actually coming up with this concept and um, actually empowering the community because ultimately we all a uh, need to balance uh, our you know work life and all in all these four areas mm -hmm. so regarding your family yourself because you need to be confident um, amongst yourself uh, also i mean that's the first thing and only then you can take care of everything else so yeah in fact you know it's not something i came up with uh, just a correction yeah. it is something uh, somebody is already uh, started mm -hmm. steve fedman mm -hmm. and uh, he is part of this uh, the leadership program total leadership okay. so it's a concept is total leadership program and in fact you know i learned from that concept i am trying to practice and uh, preach others that is super awesome and uh, definitely this concept um, uh, is, uh, is really helpful and no one uh, i guess it really gave helped you and uh, it's really good thing that you want to help others uh, because it definitely uh, was useful for you thank you so much for sharing all that information with us and our listeners uh, thank you for giving us your time and uh, thank you all the audience uh, uh, for watching desi plaza tv i am your host kushpurali signing off thanks thank you